Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, hi, I'm Melissa. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every Thursday a new video regarding fashion, but also a little bit about beauty, a bunch of vlogs, and I also talk a lot about my experience at the very famous fashion school in Milan called Istituto Marangoni and through that I also talk a little bit about career in the digital fashion world so don't hesitate to support me but anyways today's video as I said it's a bit of a logical continuation to all of the videos I've done about my own experience as a fashion communication student at the very famous school Istituto Marangoni in Milan. I have a whole playlist on my channel about that so I encourage you guys to go check it out if you're curious. Otherwise this video is going to be about my experience and what I do as a digital and visual communication manager for an online magazine and it's also startup so you get to know a lot of things about this whole world. So this video actually it was voted by you guys to be posted because I had done a poll on Instagram and on YouTube asking if you wanted to see my home office slash desk setup or this particular video and even though a bunch of you guys did vote for the desk setup majority of the votes were for this video that I'm filming today or that I'm posting today hopefully it helps you guys understand if you are interested in doing communication especially digital or visual communication if you guys want to work for an online magazine or if you guys want to work for a startup it might be also very interesting for people who just finished Marangoni or who are thinking about joining like this you know the opportunities you have after and what someone who did Marangoni does now yeah let's get going now with a quick little intro So I actually got my master's degree in 2019, it was September 2019. I did fashion communication and new media as most of you guys know by now. And after my great adventure in Italy, in Milan to be precise, I came back to Switzerland. And Switzerland is where I come from, I come from the Swiss, um, the French speaking side of Switzerland. So I came back here and I found a job actually at the beginning of the pandemic kind of. I found a job, it didn't go so well, it ended after like three months and then I just, you know, pandemic was happening, very hard to find a job and in June, long story short, I found this amazing opportunity. It's actually a magazine that has a lot of different topics. Um, it talks about lifestyle, about fashion, about beauty, but also about restaurants, about spas, hotels. It's literally, I like to call it like that, but let's stay humble, but it's a mini Vogue for the local kind of market. They were searching for an intern in digital and visual communication, so I just sent my application and it worked and I did six months of internship and since I liked it so much, I continued and I got a job as a digital and visual communication manager in 2021 in January. So it's been about a year and three months that I'm an official employee working as a manager in digital for that online magazine. And in total, it's been nearly about two years that I've been with them. So yeah, that's kind of like a long story short. So as you understood, I do everything digital. It's not a printed magazine. I do not do sales. I don't do PR. I don't really do that. I really do digital, but we're gonna get into the details right after. So really quickly, I wanted to touch base on the startup thing because I feel like a lot of people, when I get a lot of messages, Message from you guys about jobs and job opportunities post Marangoni or fashion school um, many people talk about like big companies they talk about big fashion houses which is amazing of course but I haven't done any of that like I haven't gone to a big company yet I haven't worked for a fashion house yet so um, the startup advantage and disadvantages let's say I mean big advantage is that you will be able to work on a lot of different things um, so that can be advantage and disadvantage because it can be a lot of work at some point but the advantage is that you get to learn a lot of things like you're gonna see what I do as a you know communication manager it's a lot of. Um, so that's a big thing about startups that you get to do so much and learn by yourself and struggle sometimes with very small budgets but you are able sometimes to create really very modern and entertaining ways to communicate things and promote brands and promote clients you really have to think out of the box because the competition is so big the other great thing I have to be honest is the schedule in my case we have a really great schedule it's not flexible to the extent that you can start whenever and finish whenever we do have nine to five which is very great in Switzerland because that's not everybody has that exact 
schedule so it's nine to five and the moment you finish your work you finish your work like nobody's gonna force you to stay until like seven or something or six I don't know that's how it used to be in my previous job alongside with the freedom is that you can work also a lot from home we do co have co-working spaces but we don't really use them much in the end we are a lot remote um, not necessarily able to work anywhere in the world because we are a local magazine so we do have to be here in Switzerland but nevertheless we are a lot at home and i just love remote work i actually believe it's really the present and future of work and i personally work much better from home than from the office where everybody's talking and i just don't like it personally so i'm very very happy about that but anyways now that i did a big blah blah about everything like this you understand better the environment of the thing i'm gonna get going into what i exactly do as a digital and visual communication manager so the very first thing that i do um like that's literally what i have to do pretty much every day especially I feel like on Mondays that's when I check that everything's fine and ready for the whole month to be honest or at least a week but usually it's the month and it's social media so social media it means a lot <laughs> I have to say um, that I don't do everything regarding social media because since we're such a small team I cannot do everything uh, there's a lot of work so I'm unfortunately not able to do everything regarding social media but my biggest amount of work in social media is the creation of captions for or Instagram posts. We use mainly Instagram, a little bit LinkedIn and Facebook, and also a bit YouTube, but we are very, very active on Instagram. By that I mean we post once or twice a day on three different accounts, because we have three accounts for the magazine. And I'm alone doing that, so I create all the captions, I choose the visuals, sometimes I have to create the visuals, um, and then I post, obviously. I don't really do community management, so I'm not really a community manager. I do that for another job that I have on the side because I do have a little bit of a freelance going on as well. I don't do community manager, which means I don't necessarily interact or engage with the community online. I'm not boosting a lot of the social media. That part, unfortunately, I don't have that much time to do, but I do create the more um, well, creative part of it, I guess. But yeah, so social media, that's mainly what I do for that part. And the other thing I do a lot of is web. And by web, it means I use WordPress a lot. We have obviously the online magazine online. Obviously, um, it's on WordPress. So basically, I just know very well how to use a pretty complex website um, through WordPress. And uh, we do have a developer who obviously created the website, who coded everything. I do not code, I haven't learned that. It's just not my thing at all. Uh, but I do know how to use WordPress really well. And I create all the layouts for our articles whenever we post an article. We don't post that often per week, but we do obviously post quite a bit. So I create all the layouts and I also, whenever there's an issue on the website, if it's not involving any coding, I do it. Like the moment it involves coding, it's him. When there's nothing like that, it's me. So that's a lot, but I really do enjoy the web stuff. And this actually relates me to graphic design because for these layouts, I do create pretty collages, mood boards. When it's like fashion articles, I create little looks. I'm not a graphic designer. I've never studied graphic design um, and I do not want to pretend I am because I know graphic designers are totally different. They're artists, they, they draw, they, they write beautifully. I don't do that. I just know how to create very pretty visuals, um, animated or not. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm easily inspired by things and I create very nice collages. I've done quite a few videos on my channel actually about that. I love Photoshop. I, I just, I always use Photoshop for everything. So that's what I do. And that's why I really like the term visual communication instead of graphic design. And I do that part, which means I create visuals for the website. I create visuals for anything when we want to create like, um, a publicity or a banner, uh, want a banner on the website, I will create it. I, I do everything, basically digital and visual. And our online magazine is also a little agency. So sometimes local brands, they don't have much budget or they don't really know how to do things. And they come to us to create a flyer, a business cards, um, a little website using WordPress or so something very easy um, and all that stuff. It's me who needs to do it. So this is visual communication to me. I've done many flyers in my life, uh, business cards, all that I know how to do them uh, but as I said it stays very corporate kind of if you want something a bit more creative and crazy with nice designs and illustrations that's not me that's more of a graphic designer but that's a very big part actually as well of my job I feel like the three things I told you they're all kind of equal even though social media takes a bit over the two others because I really did that a lot so these are kind of the three big main areas that I take care of 
Sometimes I will do a little bit of sales to help my manager a bit. Sometimes, uh, so sales direct marketing as well. And sometimes I will have to get a bit into SEO and the Google stuff, but this is really marketing, like pure marketing. It's um, not really what I do and what I know and what I like. And um, a little bit of PR I've done too. And since I'm in a startup, I've also done a little bit of HR. And yeah, I think that's actually pretty much it. I feel like the video was already pretty long. I didn't want it to be too long. Comment below what you thought about this video. Did you think this was actually what I was gonna talk about today? Did you expect something more or, or less even? Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any other suggestions kind of in the same type of content because I don't mind doing that from time to time if it interests you. Stay tuned for the next video that I'm gonna post. It's going to be a vlog, a very exciting one. I'm not sure yet if it's gonna be posted this week as we speak, I don't know, or if it will be next week, but definitely um, just stay subscribed on my channel so you have the notification right away. Or you can also follow me on Instagram that I've linked down below and also at the beginning of the video. I always post stories and I always update you guys on my videos and all that good stuff. So like this, you know what's up. Other than this, I wish you a lovely day or a very good night and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye everyone.